Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you an update for Pack A Day. This is a series that I run on this channel where I open up a random pack selected from this Elite Trainer box of booster packs um, that have been randomly shuffled and I get one random pack a day. Uh, so, this update is going to be a resupply. Um, I wish to do resupplies for this series um, roughly when I start getting um, to around 15, down to 15 or um, packs in the current rotation. So at the moment, the current rotation is a pack of Brilliant Stars, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, two Pokemon Go, a My Hero Academia, two Legendary Guardians for Yu-Gi-Oh! We got two Battle of Omni for Digimon. We have three of the Mythic Booster Packs for the Dragon Ball Super Card Game and an Ultimate Squad. So that is what I currently have. So let's have a look at what I'm going to be adding to this. So First off, in the background there, you can see I have some Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost from the Past. I have two of these boxes, which contain four packs each. Um, let's see. Oh, I seem to have misplaced my knife for opening these. Um, that's fine. I will be basically giving everything a thorough shuffle after I explain what's going in. But I have two pack, uh, two, four packs of Ghosts of the Past. Um, I am starting to get to the point where I want to play this uh, fairly regularly, um, but it's good to get more um, well, more expansions and stuff. So, Ghost from the Past is going to be quite good. Um, that's two boxes, so eight packs in total. Next, I have the Digimon Adventure box. Um, so, this has... Let's see... If, so, you get four packs. Um, the one promo card, and then the one figure... Um, so we've got four digital hazard packs in here. That's going to be quite good because that's the extra booster set focusing on the Tamers series. Um, plus you do get that promo Imperial Dramon. Um, I just, as I said with the Yu-Gi-Oh, I will be opening these afterwards and putting them into the box. Next, I have two of these Astral Radiance Build and Battle Kits. Um, I f feel like these have the highest rarities of products um, more consistently and so I wanted to get some of these so it's just going to be four packs in each of those. Um, this, I feel like that's been a good number so far, four in each of the products. Um, plus I do get the promo cards um, and the decks so that's a good way to get some of the Astral Radiance bulk um, so to speak but that's not all as you can see off to the side here I do have some loose packs um, so starting off with Yu-Gi-Oh I'm only going to be adding these seven packs of Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm um, this pack is actually one that I want cards from the most at the moment that's why I am just getting these but I will try and spread out this pack if I do happen to draw it um, so that is going to be a interesting thing next up we have a new game entering the fray we have flesh and blood I have six packs here of history pack one um, 
I did want to get a bit more variety, however, I the store that I went to to get these are not opening boxes. Um, this was the only set they had opened. Everything else was still sealed and they wished to keep it sealed. So, if I do get Flesh and Blood again, it may be the same pack. Um, I'll see what is available at the time for a restock. Um, next up, we are moving on to Digimon. So, I'm putting a third copy, a third pack of Battle of Omni into the rotation. Plus, I have a Double Diamond, Next Adventure, New Awakening, and a Classic Collection to add into the mix. Um, so, that is the Digimon. Um, next is Pokemon. I'm going to be adding eight Fusion Strike packs. Now, I bought these packs specifically because the store had taken apart a whole bunch of these build and battle kits to get the loose packs as they were running low on well loose packs so these may have higher pull rates than a regular booster box so that's why I bought these specifically so eight packs of fusion strike uh, next up is Dragon Ball Super so we have a cross spirits Vermilion Bloodline. Supreme Rivalry. Rise of the Union Warrior. Another Mythic Booster Pack. I didn't realise that was that one. Because um, all the other ones I had are uh, different artwork. And then we got another Ultimate Squad. <clears throat> so, that's it for Dragon Ball. Next up, I have two more My Hero Academia packs. Um... There was no loose set two. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, so I didn't get any of those. But that's um, just going to be put in there. And finally, we have Magic the Gathering. So um, I've got a Strixhaven School of Mages. Uh, Kamigawa Neon Destiny Draft Booster Pack. We have Innistrad Crimson Vow Booster Draft. Or Draft Booster, sorry. Streets of New Capnea or something. Uh, then, then that's another draft, draft Booster. And an Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Um, so, with these loose packs, the common element is that I have simply just gone into my local stores and gotten the relatively cheap packs because um, with Magic some of the packs go up to $40 each and I didn't really want to put just one pack of a set that could be quite expensive um, so I literally just go in and buy whatever is loose available in their displays that way they don't have to open up another box that they may be able to sell as a sealed product. Um, so that may limit what I add in to the box at any time. Um, but I would like to say there are currently three more TCGs that I am looking at to add into this mix. They are the Final Fantasy, Gate Ruler, and Card Fight Vanguard. However, none of the local stores sell those products. I know there are stores that I can go to that sell them, but I kind of have to plan my day around going up to get it. But I could buy them online, but I am trying to focus on local stores first well that is going to wrap this up I am going to go through and open up these boxes um, and then give a quite thorough mixture of 
the um, mystery box, so to speak. Um, so, in the next proper pack a day, you'll be having a much wider variety of packs available. Hopefully, you come back for that. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow, um, or maybe it. Uh, I've just had a new video today come out. I'm not too sure um, when to actually put this um, after the previous video or before the next. So, hopefully, you are enjoying this series, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.